the Gilda's maximum lawyers community of legal entrepreneurs who are taking their businesses and lives to the next level. As a Guild member, you'll build relationships, be held accountable, and learn strategies specifically designed to get you unstuck and accelerate your plan for growth. Members are also granted exclusive access to masterminds hosted around the country. Our next event is coming up, and we're heading to Scottsdale, Arizona. There's something truly magical about the power of these in-person connections where real-time breakthroughs happen. Picture this. You're surrounded by like-minded law firm owners tackling your business and mindset challenges together. The energy is electric, the insights are transformative, and the results are game-changing. Investing in yourself is the best decision you'll ever make. The knowledge, strategies, and breakthroughs you'll gain are priceless assets that will supercharge your practice and propel you forward. Join the Guild and secure your ticket to Scottsdale at the best possible price by visiting maxlawevents.com. Run your law firm the right way. way. This is the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Your hosts, Jim Hacking and Tyson Mutrix. Let's partner up and maximize your firm. Welcome to the show. All right. Welcome back to the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. I'm Tyson Mutrix. Jim is on assignment. We've got Jordan Ostroff with... Legalese marketing, but you also practice law too, still, I think. Jordan, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Not much, man. I, uh, I've lined up. I got a golf lesson coming up when we're done with this. So what we're doing is we're talking about the topics of all of our speakers. We're going to have all of our speakers come on and t- at least tease their topics. So do you want to tell people what your topic is? Sure. So I'll be talking about the seven essential questions of marketing. So seven questions you should a- ask yourself and, and then answer before any marketing efforts so that hopefully you too can be uh, playing golf on Tuesday afternoons instead of stuck at the office. I love it. So why did you come up with this topic? Like, what was the reason that you came to this one? Uh, So obviously, we've been working with a lot of attorneys across the whole country. And so we talk about some of their biggest concerns. And a lot of people are trying to do some things themselves and then outsource other things. So we really think that these questions dive down into the purpose of every marketing effort, which will allow some firms to do them themselves totally fine, but then also be better positioned to bring in expert help when they need it. Look at this. We got someone so excited. I can't tell who it is yet, but fantastic. I agree. And by the way, I will post a link to the conference so you can register for the conference because we we are going to sell out most likely. I, I can't imagine we wouldn't sell out. So make sure you do check it out. So Jordan, we, you talked about why you, you picked that and everything, but um, is there a certain part of it that you could tease that you're a little bit more excited than others? I'm excited to get back together and see people in person. That's really what I'm looking forward to most after so long of this. You know, Thankfully, you guys have done such a great job on the uh, Facebook group, but I'm excited to have some... Uh, incorrectly sliced bagels and coffee and see people face to face man well so it's so funny so the, for those of you that don't know what jordan's talking about is in st louis it's a thing for us to bread slice the bagels so most people you know slice it in half but we it's fantastic if you bread slice it because then you can dip that in, at bread co you can actually we call it bread co it was st louis bread co now it's panera bread but we in st louis is still called st louis bread company but you can actually dip your little pieces of bagel into the cream cheese. It is fantastic. I'm Jewish. This is my only cultural appropriation (laughs) on cutting bagels the right way. Did you at least try the bagel? Oh, of course. I definitely ate the bagel. There's no doubt on that. And it was so fantastic being able to dip it, admit it. They're they're bite-sized pieces at that point. Uh, You can admit it. You can totally admit it. I have nothing nice to say. No, I mean, it was, it was a fine bagel. It's just, it's weird. Uh, you're, You're crazy. You're crazy. So, Tell us a little bit about how you manage between the, the the practice, you know, practicing law and then the marketing. I mean, are you still practicing law at all? No, no. My uh, my wife owns the other half of the firm. She's a fantastic attorney. She does most of the practicing. And then obviously we've got a, a strong team on both sides, which allows me the flexibility to do what I do, which is not work. So this topic, uh, the seven essentials, uh, seven essential questions of marketing. I mean, are these things that you apply in your practice, like not in your practice, but yeah, I guess in your practice when it comes to marketing, but also in the in the firms that you represent. Yep, absolutely. And it's things that a lot of people can do themselves. You know, we understand that depending upon your budget, it's uh, not worth it for some firms to bring in outside help. So I want to provide some really great free information to help people just be better. Gotcha. And I'm assuming that some of these topics stem from um, a lot of mistakes that people have made when it comes to marketing. Certainly. I mean, mostly mistakes that I made before I figured out what I was doing, but definitely. 
So without revealing one of the questions, tell me some of the mistakes that you see. So you come in, I'm assuming someone's tried some marketing. They've not, it's not worked well for them. So you come in with Legalese Marketing and you try to help them out. What are some of the big mistakes that you've seen firms make? The biggest mistake for every firm that we have come across is not really knowing who your ideal client is. So not having an idea, it's not just anybody driving a car, it's not just anybody who gets arrested. The more specific and targeted and niche you get that, the better you can be in the right place, the better you can craft the right message, the better you can find those people, the better you can resonate with them. That's the biggest mistake that I see lawyers making. So for someone that you know, like has you know, car crash cases and things like that, I mean, how do, you, how do you narrow down who that target market might be? The coolest way to do it is go back through your favorite cases, whether that was favorite clients or favorite results, and work your way backwards to see what those things have in common. You know, maybe your clients had similar demographics. Maybe they had similar jobs. Maybe they got in accidents in a a similar area. You're going to find some of those commonalities, and then you start driving into those commonalities more and more, um, which is interesting because as you get into those niches, so let's say hypothetically, you know, you want people who are hit by an Amazon or FedEx or UPS truck because of the insurance coverage you'll start getting people calling you with, hey, I know you normally work with people hit by, but would you do me a favor and help out my friend who got hit by you know, some other vehicle or something along those lines because you've got that engaging story by niching down. I, I 100% agree with you. Um, that's, that's actually, fan, that's really fantastic advice. So couldn't agree more. All right, Jordan. So tell people how they can get in touch with you and why are you excited for Max LawCon? I know you already kind of teased it a little bit, but why are you excited and how can people get in touch with you? Sure. Uh, so the easiest places would be on Facebook or uh, on LinkedIn. There's two Jordan Ostroffs. I'm the one with the beard. Or Legalese Marketing, that's E-A-S-E. It is uh, one giant dad joke, legalesemarketing.com. And I'm excited to just get back together. Here's some great insight and wisdom from people. I think all of our practices have been impacted over the last 13 months. Hopefully by now or by the end of the conference, you'll find that yours was impacted for the better. And uh, that's the hope. So true. All right, Jordan, can't wait to see you in St. Louis. Thank you so much, man. We'll see you. Have fun golfing. Will do. Thanks for having me. See you, bud. Thanks for listening to the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Podcast. To stay in contact with your host and to access more content, content. go to MaximumLawyer.com. Have a great week and catch you next time.